It's so hard to talk when you want to kill yourself. I haven't figured out a decent word to take the lead of the phrase to describe this thought. It's a word with a dis like a thick disorder, a disease, a disappointment, disaster, distraught, disruptive and draining. The pain on the walls of my brain is all flaky and peeling away. Foundation is shaking through smiles that I'm faking. I'm achingly trying to get through each day. The struggles are backed by the fact that compassion is lacking. Like the true definition of real understanding falls flat. There's a sky up above, but I see it all shaking and cracking. And through the cracks, I see no answers. I don't know where I'm at. You're probably wondering, uh, why? Uh, why would you want to kill yourself? Uh, that's a great question. It's like I hear this relentless buzzing, and it just gets louder and louder and louder. Because you start to build. You can't look down, stand it all, clench your jaw, you've lost sight of normal. Try to stay somewhere safe like your childhood memories. Too bad you can't escape the mental thunderstorm. He stays on repeat every week with a shrink face to face with a doctor whose interest depleted. Sessions complete with the same stupid questions. All therapists oh, ask without feeling? skipping a beat. With zero finesse, every shrink has expressed their endorsement of pills that make life less depressing. Addressing my stresses and pressures subjectively seems like what doctors might do when they're guessing. Seventeen years and emotions are scattered and ranging. Numbing the pain with a pill till stability's flat. But numbing the pain is just dumbing me down. Nothing's changing. Keep staring blankly at the walls. I don't know where I'm at. And you think getting older would make all of this easier. But it doesn't. Getting older just means more responsibilities. And more responsibilities. Less help. Frustrations turn into a dim lit light On in the middle of a room at night Can't see the little bit of glow No Wrong or right No one seems to bother asking if we might Need a little middle of the road How could you know? I guess you had to be Guess she had to be there. And that's just where I'm at. Always scared of my potential. Never get how I'm essential. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Where you're forced at what they hand you. And your friends don't understand you. Sup, dick? This is Aaron. We've been friends for exactly two years. The things I know about him are, he's handsome. Uh, he has a 7.9 GPA. He can juggle. Uh, he's loaded and he's single-handedly keeping the marijuana industry alive. Nia's coming over. Oh, uh, one more thing. I like girls. Well, actually, I like girl. Hi, Craig. Hey, uh, this is Nia. Uh, I've known her for exactly five years. She's known me for exactly one. The things I know about her are her favorite TV show is World's Wildest Police Chases. Her favorite number is 37. Uh, she's a budding amateur bowler, and she's as beautiful and as curvy as the New York City skyline. I like her a lot. Hey, babe. Oh, one more thing. Uh, she's dating Aaron. Uh, babe, are you still good for Webster Hall on Saturday? Ooh, camp babe got a thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, what about you, Craig? Oh, uh, uh, do you know anybody? Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't know anybody. Okay, you ready to get out of here? Wrong or right, no one seems to bother asking. See you around, Craig. If we might need a little middle of the road. Later, Dick. How could you know?
Which brings me to my family. Uh, my family loves me. Well, and they put up with me. Well, we put up with each other. On paper, we're perfect, but paper is thin, as thin as my dad views the state of my skin. George, would you like to say grace? Absolutely. And so it begins. Oh. Dear Lord, we ask that you keep. They oh. pray to give thanks, I just stare at my cup. They'll ask that I eat, but I'll throw it back up. No one dreads dinners at home like I do. Craig, how's the studying going? Right on cue. Craig, I'm talking Craig, to you. Honey, it's going fine. That's yep. nice. Fine All is right. bad. Fine's okay. Fine's not great. If you say so. Craig, listen. More wine? I think fine is just fine. <laughs> this is my sister, Layla. I've known her for exactly 11 years because she's 11. Um, she's one of those kids that can make you believe in reincarnation. I want to be like her when I grow up. Layla, how was your day? Said today was only Wednesday. We had our weekly quiz. English got a hundred, science got a hundred, math was a struggle, but I got a 97. A 97, what happened with math? It's AP calculus, Dad, and I'm only 11. Craig, something wrong with your chicken patties? No. Well, then eat. I have no problem eating. Um, keeping it down is the hard part. Listen to your father, sweetheart. You know, fasting today makes the food good tomorrow. German proverb. Damn it, Craig. This is getting ridiculous. Eat. I'm not hungry. Oh. Craig, you know you need to eat. I put money on this table so that you can have a meal every Thursday night. Oh. Can you blame me? I know this can't be right. My stomach's not in, no wonder I lost my appetite. I'm a saving who keeps me up at night. They think they know what's best for me, but they don't know where I'm at. To sum up, I'm 17 years old. I don't know anything about most things, but here's what I do know. Where I'm at. I'm a literal piece of wallpaper. Uh, a cog and a wheel and a machine that's irrelevant. Where I'm at. And I have enough anxiety to fill a crater in the moon. And I'm running out of options. Or maybe I've already run out. Uh, Burned out light up in the attic, so you're up all night. Put out the little bit of glow. So. Questions? choose to suffer when they're suffering when life is like a video that's buffering like a movie frozen on a frame your face is all distorted we're waiting for the scene to change but waiting for solutions is unfeasible like hugging what is totally unsqueezable 
You can't just wait for each frustration to pass by overnight. You have to get right up and look around and realize there's still a chance to be all right. The problem with here is there's nothing tying me down. The problem with here is there's no one who can help me out. So I'll rely on me to do the right thing. I get back up, but life keeps fighting. I'm stepping out the door. I don't want to not feel like me anymore. Should I leave a note that says I'll be okay? A note might feel too final for them anyway. So I'll call them up tomorrow morning and tell them I am okay. And that I ran to help me fix myself and that I didn't run away. Cause maybe what I have is something fixable. Maybe what I'm feeling is explicable. Should I wake up Layla? No. She'll just convince me not to go. The problem with here is there's nothing helping me down. The problem with here is there's nothing that can help me keep grounded. So I'll rely get back up, but life keeps fighting. I'm stepping out the door. I don't want to not feel like me anymore. One small thing, the teen psychiatric ward is under renovation. You'll be staying in the adult ward for the time being. Um, is that safe? It's temporary. That's not an answer? Relax, no one here is sick. Everybody here is looking for the same thing. The world outside these walls isn't made for everyone. You know it isn't always fun And the one thing that they need just can't be found It's time, nothing but time Time to readjust Time to start to question who you are and what life is And why you battle with depression Time for minds to get refreshed And freshly see the life in question they're a colorful crew. Yeah, I think it's time they all made a first impression. Craig, I want you to meet Humble, one of our superstars here at Six North. Who are you? I'm Craig. You look like a Danny. It's Craig, Humble, I checked. What are you working on? I'm drawing a beaver. I don't think the beavers you draw are appropriate here, and I think you know that. <laughs> oh, yeah? That's actually pretty great. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Anyway, he's new and he needs a little TLC. Oh, yeah? Yeah, can you show him around? Uh, yeah. The renovations in the teenage wing means he'll be joining you here. Well, by the sound of it, <clears throat> what they mean by renovations is there's a personal invasion. They're bugging the phones, the lights in the ceiling. When you think you're alone, you're not. They'll be watching your room and what you do in it. Who's they? They could be listening right this minute. <laughs> we'll see you later on, Humble. Thanks, Doc. Nice to meet you, Humble. Yeah, nice to meet you too, Danny. <laughs> there are reasons everybody needs to be here. Everyone deserves a chance to feel 
like they are understood. It's a wonder how a human who's as human as we are can look inside and see this place as anything but good. You. Me? Has anyone ever told you you have an interesting energy? I'm sure that you must hear it all the time. You're new, what's your name? I'm Craig. Hi, I'm Craig. You have an aura with a shade of blue and the glow of it caught my eye. You're a cutie, that's quite a puppy-eyed expression. Let me guess, you have depression. Uh, depression, I, it's no, okay, I It's okay, those words aren't taboo here. My name's Jennifer, it used to be Charles. Everyone calls me JC, I'm bipolar. She's by lots of things. Humble. <laughs> Back to your beaver. Every day you'll find a reason not to stay here. Everybody has a secret that they don't let out to play. It's a wonder how a human who's as human as we are can understand the fact that humans often need to get away. And this is Bobby, our resident rule breaker. Yeah, we've met <laughs> Doctor's Lounge. They have the best coffee. Well, you seem to be in a good mood today. Bobby, can you uh, take care of things? I need to go, uh, I have some business to attend to. He's going to take a dump. Humble, this is an A and B conversation. Why don't you see your way out? <laughs> so you can drop a D? <laughs> take care of him, Bobby. You got it. Enjoy your bowel movement. <laughs> Same time every day. Uh, hey, who's that? That? Oh, that's Noelle. She's like a Stephen King novel wrapped in a Robert Frost poem. <laughs> Sweet kid. Hi. Hey. Good talk. Let's get you to your room. Every day around 6 North there is this buzzing. There is nothing like the fear of living so misunderstood. Buzz from the anxiety that cuts just like a knife. For some of us, it's just a rest stop on the highway of our life. Every day you'll find a reason not to stay here. Everybody has a secret that they don't let out to play. It's a wonder how a human who's as human as we are can understand the fact that No one here is sick. Everybody here is looking for the same thing. Craig, the wizard will see you now. So, Craig. Why are you here? Sometimes I sympathize with salmon. Can you elaborate? Every time I walk outside of my apartment, it's like trying to walk into an already moving stream. There's always people moving quickly in one direction, and sometimes I feel like if I don't time it just right, I'll mess everything up. Like I'll ruin the rhythm of New York City. I try to live, but it isn't coming easy Cause I don't know how The voice within muffled, buried in the chaos Like you can't scream out Think in circles like a broken record Every thought's identical You can't escape like you're restricted by the pressure It's like you're wrapped up in tentacles don't look down, the view is something permanent Life might whisper death likes a shout Don't break down a bridge before connecting to what might be on the other side I wanna figure me out Every day never noticing surroundings always looking down in every way, I avoid the city skyline or the looming clouds. 
always looking down or even trees how they stand there strong with purpose telling me i need to grow i just see their roots all twisted strange and tangled and that's the only me i know don't look down to focus on what's hidden all your roots grow wildly deep underground don't cut down a tree before it lives to see what might be on the other side i want to figure me out i guess i want to take a minute i want to pause a thought and zoom in on the frame i'm just putting a pin in it until the thought is gone my frame of mind's the same it's like I owed it to myself to go achieve understanding and leave with some upper hand. So I climb back down into the mess, and I'm scared to death. This is an S O S. Well, Craig, it sounds to me like you're depressed. I see. I try to live, but it isn't very easy when you don't know how. We'll leave it here for now. You can't go till you know. Don't look down. The view is something permanent. Life might whisper. Death likes to shout. Don't cut down a bridge before connecting to what might be on the other side. Don't look down and focus on what's in underground don't cut down a tree before it's lived to see what might be on the other side i want to figure me out i try to live but it isn't very easy because i don't know I can feel you staring at me. Oh, I'm not staring. <laughs> You're like the definition of staring. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. I'm drawing. Lines and stuff. Now you ask me a question. That's the rules of the game. The game? <laughs> Just ask me a question. Um. What's your favorite color? I'm fond of black. Something about how all the light is absent. I dig it. Cool. <laughs> OK, my turn. Why are you here? Because I'm depressed, I guess. I mean, depressed or suicidal, I think. I mean, I think that I am. I practically jumped off the Brooklyn Bridge. Cool. Your turn. Oh, yeah, right. Um, uh, what's your favorite band? Now that's an unfair question. You asked if I was suicidal. I asked why you were here. You mentioned suicide all on your own. Oh, touche. <laughs> Don't get annoyed. The Pixies or Pink Floyd. And yeah. NWA. No way. <laughs> way. OK, OK, my turn. Uh, what are your hobbies? I don't know. I, I used to really love drawing when I was a kid. I don't know why I stopped. All in all, I guess life got in the way. I'm not sure what that means. Generic life excuses when the truth is. Drawing makes me happy. What makes you happy? Dusk. D dusk. Dusk. That's it. No explanation. No. <laughs> I'm having fun. Yeah, me too. Well, I will see you tomorrow for arts and crafts. It's a date. Ooh. 
that's no, that's not what I meant. Isn't it sad how nobody takes the time to make a first impression? Isn't it cool how somebody takes the time to laugh with my depression? Isn't it weird how a smile can break through when you're used to one expression? Isn't it weird? So? So? Your turn to ask a question. Okay, I thought you'd never ask. Okay, I've been dying to ask you all morning. What's your middle name? Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, your parents must think highly of you. Pass. You can't pass. Come on, tell me. What, is it embarrassing? You already asked your question. Come on, I'm sure it's fine. What if I tell you mine? You go first. Okay, then you. Okay. Okay. My middle name is Lindsay. Wait, really? Mine too. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. It's that's a family amazing. name. <laughs> it's your turn to ask a question, Lindsay. Okay. Well, well then I'm bringing out the heavy artillery for this one. Seinfeld or Friends. Now that's my kind of question. Those shows are like my favorite ever. It kind of just depends. You have to pick one. Okay, I guess Friends. No, no, no. Seinfeld is the only right answer here. It's Seinfeld. You kids don't know. Humble, why don't we agree to disagree? You're wrong, Danny. My name's Craig. Hey, Chuck. Kinda hard to craft it up over here with all the flirting. Thanks, Bobby. Isn't it sad how nobody, nobody takes the time to make a new connection? Isn't it weird how learning about someone becomes a new obsession? Isn't it cool how much we learn if we'd only ask a question? Isn't it weird? Your turn. Okay. Do you think I'm gross looking? What? No. I think you look awesome. Your turn. Okay, how did you get those scars on your face? Uh, uh, you don't have to answer that, I'm sorry. My turn. Have you ever had a confetti fight? Whoa! I'm sorry if, if I went... You're cool. And cute. We should hang out more. Cool. <laughs> yo, yo, hey. So, uh... You're in a loony bin, like a like a mental ward, like loony, like you're crazy. Yeah, oh God. Well, so what's the deal, dude? Are you like going all cuckoo's nest on us? Aaron, or please, just promise me that you won't tell anyone about this. Yeah, sure. You got it. He's gonna tell everyone. Did you hear about Craig? He went nuts. Not surprised. That's what I said. But it's legit like he's legally nuts. The poor guy lands in psychiatric care. But dude, you gotta promise not to tell. Bro, I swear. Yo. What's up? Did you hear about Craig? Lost his mind. Surprise. Yeah, that's what I said. For real, listen up like he's out of his mind. I guess he snapped somewhere down the line. But you have to keep this to yourself. Ugh, fine. Hey, you up? Now I am. Did you hear about Craig as he flipped? I could see that. That's what I said. I guess it's true, but his marbles are gone. Now to snap to the different meds. Like it shocked him so 
so much that he's legally dead. He's addicted to drugs, eating paint, sniffing glue. I heard he pooped on the stoop of a what church. That was in an institution, like social destitution. Crazy Craig, crazy Craig, looky look, it's crazy Craig, crazy Craig, crazy Craig, looky look, it's crazy Craig, crazy Craig, crazy Craig, looky look, it's 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 crazy Craig, crazy Craig, looky
but she prefers the word imbalanced, so that's what we say. I guess it takes the sting away for her. I could hear her growing through the phone. She told me how she's doing. She's in second grade. But she talks just like a lady. Then she asked me when I might come home. I told her, maybe soon. Karen told me not to lie to her. You're always lying, she says, but you know what? I think it's okay. I, I, I... Lying's not okay, I know that, but keeping the truth away from someone who couldn't possibly handle the reality, I don't know. The truth hurts sometimes. And I don't want to hurt anybody. And what do you want most of all? I want to get into the group home. I want to see my daughter again. I want my life back. Yeah. 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 It's an impossibility to explain Cause it'd just be too painful to understand How there it's so easy to be afraid of a loose grenade You hold in your hand The most severe comes in any size That's why it's no surprise I close my ears and close my eyes and sing La 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 and you come home and you track sand into your house? Yeah. That's how you make me feel. Because when you came here, it was like you tracked in part of the outside world with you. You remind me there's something to get back to. When life's like barely a thing, how can we breathe? All life is like a dream, as far as reality, not a thing for a mile. When life's like barely a thing, we can be anything. All life's really a dream, as far as reality, not a thing for a mile. The times you can't even scream, just hold on. Your interview is Friday? Yeah. I don't know how it's going to go. Well, why? <laughs> well, history would put good odds on me blowing it. Well, what about your, your wife and your daughter? Well, I don't feel like talking about it. Oh, I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, if it was my mom or my sister. I, I said I don't feel like talking about it. Besides, I, I don't have a button-down shirt that fits. My lawyer says I should look nice, and I look like me. There's just too many questions to feel like the world is understood or something good. We believe that we're exceptions, but that's a victory you can't redeem, cause it's a dream. You think it's better out those doors. You think the world is playing fairly beyond the countless wars. Or every school shooting, we're barely hanging on to something real. Scared to cope, scared to feel. You think that this is a vacation, a thought you're not allowed to justify. I'll tell you why. It's not our imagination, it's a reality we're living in. A tailspin in our own thoughts we drown. Why are you here? Man, you don't give up, do you? As fluidly as water, back and forth I go from high to low, then only low. Around my wife and daughter, there was never black and white to say, just thoughts of gray. 
brought here instead how long ago seven years oh i have too many questions i feel crazy even i'll admit been through some shit as if it's open for suggestion what's normal isn't here or there like splitting hairs there's never safety guaranteed we act like normalcy fulfills us but here we feel this need Figuring out what is wrong There's just too many questions To feel like the world is understood Or something good I'm sorry for all of that this week. is It's so weird already. I've been trying to work on myself, and then there are all these distractions, like her. And me. I'm sorry. I'm a tough cookie, Craig. I've been through worse. Why are you here? Are you just asking? Or are you asking? I'm asking. <laughs> Vincent tucked me into bed each night And every night we'd read Sleeping Beauty was my favorite So he read it on repeat And when the story met its ending And the prince woke up the princess with a kiss Vincent would kiss me right here Night after night the prince arrived To say goodnight with just a kiss not just a kiss atop her head, Prince Vincent kissed her on the lips. Every night the kiss would land a little stronger. Every night the kiss would last a little longer. He would whisper I was beautiful. One small kiss, cause he loves her. And he loves her cause she's beautiful. scissors and I held them to my face. My reflection in the mirror wasn't me. I was replaced by a girl whose sense of innocence just wasn't hers to keep. So I made a cut below my eye and deep into my cheek. Then I waited for Prince Charming, a little bird with a broken wing, while my cuts, a gorgeous bloody shade of purple, start to sting. He began to read the story it's the stories that I miss. Then he looked at me and left without a kiss. One small kiss, then you try. 
trust him, you think it must be okay. Anyway. Noelle, I had no idea. I may have won the battle. But the war is never ending. Every scar was made to save me. They're a message I am sending to myself. They're on display. So I guess what I am saying is I'm used to it by now. Not being kissed. I'm gonna go take a walk. Can I come with you? No. Nah, um, too many distractions. Where's mom? I don't know. I took the bus. What? <laughs> You're 11. Why do people always remind me how old I am? What are you doing here? I've been reading up on your condition and the human psyche in general. Did you know that your brain changes every time someone pays you a compliment? The thrill of it is so overwhelming. In seconds, your world can totally change. And did you know that listening to someone can trigger the part of your brain where happiness lives? Happiness gives your brain a rush. Like reading a book or having a crush. It's all too much, so when it's missing, you think you're kissing sanity goodbye. But everyone. book is a tie between Amelia Bedelia and Finnegan's Wake. <laughs> We're all a little messed up. So, Craig, the million dollar question. Do you think you're ready to get out of here? Five days ago, I almost jumped off the Brooklyn Bridge. But you didn't. So I ask you again. 
Do you think you're ready to get out of here? Um. Um. Craig, are you all right? No. No, I'm not. I'm not all right. Um, I haven't been all right. Well, I think my whole life. But being here for the last five days has taught me that it might be all right to not be all right. For a long time, I have felt lonely, out of place, different, and odd. But after meeting Bobby, humble, Noel. And all the other amazing people here, I, I think I'm finally starting to understand that we're all a little messed up. And that's what binds us. If everyone is crazy, no one is, so no. I am not all right. But yes, I am ready to get out of here. I see no reason to disagree. Hi. Hey. I ask me a question. Okay, are you mad at me? No. Yes. <laughs> no. Are you happy? Yeah, I think I am. That's nice. Are you happy? You can't ask the same question twice. I like you. You don't know me. The little I know about you, I like. But you're leaving. Yeah, but, but, but you get visitors, right? I, I, mean, I made you something. It's you. It's chaotic. And complicated. And messy. And beautiful. I love it. See you around, Lindsay. I know what you're thinking. A kid spends five days in a psych ward and all of a sudden he's cured. I'm not, I'm not even close. But I'm getting there. I can feel that this is just the beginning. We try to dig our roots up and tie the knot in maze inside our heads. We hide from understanding why we're even here. We feel like we're the screw-ups, like we lack a common thread, a speck in the atmosphere. We work to build our walls up. We build until we're trapped inside ourselves. We search to find what will never see us clear. The mountain we all crawl up you think was made for someone else, lost in the atmosphere. It's like you can't ask for directions if everybody's lost. hard to shake it off and start to heal take what you need and you get stronger as you go from black and white to rainbow the pain becomes that real stuck when you need to grow even if they're hidden everyone has scars it's all Not enough on the inside Runner up giving up on your whole life 
Crack the shell around your fear A light in the atmosphere Take a look around you Everybody's here I'm different. I'm odd. I'm unique. I'm creative. I'm, I'm afraid. I'm inspired. I'm a mess. I'm me. And I guess it's okay. Because I'm happier than I've ever been. And I've only just begun to live. Now this is where I'm at. Any questions? Drew Gasparini, everybody. Thank you. Alex Breivin, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for uh, watching a chunk of our show. Like chunks of our show, I suppose. Yeah, there's a whole Stew. third and fourth act. <laughs> we're Which we're doing right now. Let's go. All right. All right. No. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for being here. Uh, uh, I'd like to, before, before anything else happens, there's a few more things we're going to do for you guys tonight. Uh, because you paid to be here, we're going to do more for you. Uh, uh, let's give it up to 54 Below for housing us. <laughs> let's give it up for that effing cast, please. Yes. Yeah. They are all so epic. Colton Ryan is an absolute star. Epic. Really, really love these people. Uh, and this band led by Justin Goldner. Uh, the most fabulous person in the world, my manager and this, the producer of this concert, my, uh, my Erica Rothstein. <laughs> Our Erica Our Rothstein. Erica Rothstein. Uh, so uh, I, for the rest of this show we're doing for you. Uh, Alex is not just my best friend. Alex and I are, are writing partners uh, in many different <laughs> avenues. And we're much more than that as well. Yes. We uh, have an announcement to make. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I hope you're listening. Uh, Mom, and Dad. My, and my future in-laws are actually here too, so right, that's great. like that fun for this. Uh, anyway, <laughs> fiance's right over there. It's cute. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, my other boyfriend's here. Yeah. All right. Uh, anyway, so uh, we're gonna invite we're gonna invite our very good friend, the the super talented and and oh so adorable Broadway's Evie Dolan. Evie Dolan, everybody, back up to the stage. Uh, and Evie and Alex are gonna do a song for you guys. Uh, we're just gonna share a little snippet of something. Alex and I are uh, not just adapting this amazing book by Ned Vizzini into a musical. We're also adapting the novel, The Whipping Boy. I don't know if anybody knows that book here. Sure. Great. You probably seven read it in seventh people. grade. Um, it's a Newbery Award winning novel. Uh, it's about two boys, a, uh, a prince who's a jerk, and his uh, boy that they've hired to take his punishments for him. The two go on an epic journey uh, where friends become enemies and enemies become friends. All right. Uh, the drawing level laughing, you'll love it. But along the way, they meet a girl named Betsy who rides like a horse, a bear. Um, <laughs> Named Petunia, wears a tutu, who is a boy. 
um, and rides like an attack bear. And in Act 2, Jemmy, uh, the 10-year-old boy who's gone through some stuff, the whipping boy, um, has lost sight of his friend and is uh, wondering what to do and comes across Betsy and her bear, Petunia, in the woods. And Betsy, much like Layla, and it's kind of a funny story, gives some well-needed perspective, as our wonderful Evie is wont to do. Evie Dolan, everybody. <laughs> all right, all right. There's, there's still more. Let's do a bit of this. Let's do some of that moves. All right. Boy, oh, boy. Just screaming over mics that I could be using. <laughs> Hi, here we are, back in the comfy zone at the piano. Um... So I said this a bit at the last show. I just want to say this one more time before we all do the most gigantic applause one more time. This uh, show that Alex and I are writing, uh, we just did an interview for Playbill, and we were talking about this, sh this writing, this show. And Alex said it best. This, the Ned Vizzini novel and the movie, um, w adapting this as a passion project for Alex and I turned commission and back into a passion project. Um, the themes in this show 
of depression, anxiety, loneliness, things that sometimes, sadly enough, I mean, people in New York, maybe we all understand a bit more, uh, it's, it's not easy to talk about these things. And I like that Alex and I have used this platform of being able to write this musical to showcase why it's important to talk about not feeling okay and not knowing what to do with that. And um, the reason I, I kind of use that as my segue into this next song uh, is because we are using art to tell an important story, I think. And it's scary when you read about how art might not be the biggest focus for a lot of people. When I truly believe that art is medicine and art is a, is a way in to these conversations for a lot of people. Um, so, at a time uh, when it was, you know, it was November, it was a time. Uh, it, uh, during this time in, in the world, I, it, I always say this, it was kind of like watching the entire universe lose its mind at the same time. It was a strange thing. And despite what your beliefs are politically or otherwise, it's still strange. <laughs> it kind of doesn't matter, it's all weird. Um, so I wrote this song just to hopefully uh, be a positive, hopeful thing and hopefully the lyrics speak to you in a way that make you walk out of here with some hope that there's a lot of good to come, not just bad, because sometimes it's easy to sit in the bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, anyway, so this song is called Wishing for the Sun and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Here it goes. Keep wishing for the sun Cause I know we'll find a smile When the new day comes I hear a lot more sirens than I used to Maybe it's the sound of the times we're living in We hide in Let's keep wishing for the sun Cause I know we'll find a smile When the new day comes You think the whole wide world Gonna squash you down Like this big old angry world Is gonna squash you like a bug Well, if this whole wide world Seems so Goddamn angry Maybe the whole wide world Needs a big fat hug I see a lot less color Than I used to Bloom can turn the blues and greens And yellows into gray but gray's no fun Let's keep wishing for the sun Cause I know we'll find a smile When the new day comes Oh, gray's no fun Let's keep wishing for the sun Cause I know we'll find a smile Yes, I know we'll find a smile Yes, I know we'll find a smile when the new day comes. Thank 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we're going to pick it back up for one last song. Uh, let me stand and talk while I say this. Uh, first, the band's coming back out to jam with this next one. One more time for this band tonight. <laughs> one more time for 54 Below tonight. This is home. Thank you, 54. Thanks for being home. Jen Tepper, you're here. We love you, Jen Tepper. Thank you. We talk about Jen Tepper like she owns 54 Below. It's the greatest. <laughs> One more time for this cast, please. All you guys for coming. You're the best in the entire world. Oh, one big fat round of applause, by the way. If you watch the slides on the side, on these screens, if you were paying attention to those at all, those are all put together by our, my co-writer and husband, Alex Brightman. And all of the, and all of the brain maps. Oh, there's a spot going around, that's amazing. Uh, and all, all of the brain maps that you saw were uh, drawn by our Smitty, Noel Carey. Hell yeah. Uh, who is just one of the most talented guys in the entire world. Anyway, guys, before we jump into this last song, I want to say this. The show you saw tonight is a lot about sadness. But I think from that, the thing that we want you to take away is wow the love. Wow the love. This can speak to you. It's allowed to happen. That's okay. It's okay to let shows like this speak to you. It's, some people go like, that wasn't musical theater. Fuck you, yes it is. Okay? You can do this. We can use this platform. So when you leave today, if you met someone at your table today, shake hands, hug, high five. This is love now, okay? Not to get too hippie. I am from the Bay Area, but please, not, not to get too hippy dippy. One last thing. As I always say at the end of all my shows, the after party is across the street. Please join us. Any of you, come give us a hug and meet these people. We're wonderful. And uh, we're going to do one more song for you. And uh, you don't know the words to this song, but I barely do too. So the only, real, the only rule for tonight is when you hear something that you think you can just sing along with, there's a lot of oohs and ahs and ohs and na na nas. Snag apart, sing. And if you feel like standing up and clapping, let's just fucking party. Can we party, people? Here we go. You make me happy ever after I feel your lonely days with laughter You know it's true and All that I know Is this, is this only a disaster It's like that clock is working faster It's your turn to move oh, oh. While you sitting here waiting on you Time's up The message is you're sending a fairy story never ending it's just not fair you make me crazy i feel it's happy but it's ending a fairy story never ending for what's not there
waiting on you. Taking your time but never making a move, and that's just a wind up. Why can't you let go? Oh, oh, Everybody! Oh, oh.